Okay, but you do need to provide me your details for the um, under the air traffic management and unmanned aircraft act. So welcome back to the channel guys. It's an early start today. We stayed over last night here in Bristol. And right now we're here at the Bristol Port Company. So there's lots of signs on this fence before we turn the corner, talking about a high court injunction for Just Stop Oil, Extinction Rebellion, Insulate Britain, Youth Climate Swarm. So they are not allowed on site and any affiliation with them, the injunction applies to those as well. So we're here, straight down to the right, all the way down the back, and there's some uh, oil tankers there, silos, whatever they are. So much literature around. Valero Energy Limited, Valero Logistics. Dates around 2022, April 23 there, look. So it's all recent stuff. We've got this lovely middle section here, which is chained off. It's unusual. Keep it all open and visible. And there's a railway crossing. And then we have the gatehouse and where you actually enter the port. So where does the port land start? and what restrictions are in place for pedestrians. Let's find out. You are entering a port security area. Entry past this point signifies acceptance of liability to search of person, vehicles and belongings. Users of standpipes are advised that this site has a private water main. Right. And they have their own police <laughs> you know what mate are you actually a police officer constable yes yeah really at a port huh? at a port yeah port police yeah that's on you never never heard of that before i've talked to you when the cars have gone just to see what the rules are here just a youtube channel that's all we'll get there in a minute I've only just met you. Yeah. <laughs> I like YouTube, but I keep the rest of it Do you? I'd just like to know what's publicly accessible. Um, up to these gates, really. What about the gap? It's a barrier, it, even though it doesn't extend, but that is it. Okay. It's still privately owned. Is it? Yeah. So it's all maintained by the by port? The company, yeah. Okay, okay. So if I want to fly the drone over, you got any objections to that? You would have to check with Bristol Port Company. If I, if I launch from council maintained land, is that what, over there, is it? It's a bit further on than that, actually. Because all the way round is port land, but this is still publicly accessible. So Up until the barrier? Yeah. So you're telling me, officially, I cannot go past the barrier? Yeah. Yeah, to do photography. But where's your line up there? Uh, just give me a rough... It's, it's uh, train tracks. Oh, so after the train tracks, you've got no jurisdiction. Oh, you've been busy, mate. You, yeah. That's why I'm staying quiet so you can concentrate. So, is this Royal Edward Dock here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And King Road Avenue is that side of the tracks? Yeah. Okay, I agree with you. Thank you, Rossi. What drone is it? Mini 3. 249 gram one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got Mini 2. Yeah. The, the rules are very relaxed with them, aren't they? Does the Gloucester Road sound familiar to you? Gloucester Road is. Now, that goes over the tracks, doesn't it? Yeah, that's a bit further on it, too. Yeah, have you got it all, you've got all your operator ID on it and all that, yeah? Yeah, so 
So my plan of action, I'll, I'll go past the train tracks, as you discussed, take the drone over from here, just get that section, but then I'm going to go right to the end across the road. That's not restricted, is it? That'll get me right down to the no, dock. To our other police game, do you have permission from the council? Do you still need permission from the council to land all the property? Unfortunately, that's wrong. No, that's, what, that's just what we've agreed, so... Yeah, yeah. Nobody... All around this area, if anybody wants to fly their drone from any public pavement, yeah. they're not going to contact the council. It's ridiculous. It's not reasonable. Um, just be warned, Gloucester Road does have red houses on there as well, so you've got to be, was it, 50 in it? 50 meters? Yeah, not with 249. There's no minimum. You should know that. Mini 2 owner. Yeah, I, I got my license a while ago, man. Or do, you, or do you want the remote with the screen? Remote with the screen. Did you find it? Brilliant. Did you find it a lot better? The Mini 2 is better for unlocking like football stadiums and stuff. Yeah. But this one, the GPS is a bit rubbish. So the public purse are paying for a constable to be here all the time, are there? Really? The public are paying for a constable uh, to be here. The port company. The port payer. You've got one on the other side as well. <laughs> one side we've got sections of a, a tunnel. That's what they use for HS2. Where the tunnel boring machine bores the hole and those sections get placed in with the automatic machine and they interlock. Wow. So just while we're here, while the constable is busy, let's just have a look at what we can see. We've got Sims Metal with their overhead crane and their grabber. I think it says Sims Metal there. Yeah, there we go. So you can come on here if you've got legitimate business. We can see some sort of vessel over there. What's that? It's a Hoyland. But apart from that, you can't really see much from here. More Sims Metal buildings to the right. All the signage here. Although this is uh, a gap. I have checked on Find My Street and it is privately maintained so and we've been told that we're not welcome past the point so we'll return back to council maintained land and carry on. The constable here is uh, very friendly but as you can see he is very busy so we'll leave him alone. A 5.1 metre height restriction look up there but that's coming out going in there is no height restriction, so really that's just protecting the local bridges and structures and stuff like that. Brand new vehicle there, look. Trade plate. There'll be no messing about here with the constables. Yeah, man. There you go, mate. Hey. What's your first name? Mike. Nice to meet you, Mike. Yeah, no watching, sir. Thanks for watching, mate. Thank you. So we now have Port Police in the marked car arrive. Hopefully they'll be just as professional as the other constable there. So Port Police backup has arrived. I'm not sure why or whether it's shift change or what, I don't know. Look, he's got a smile on his face, but she hasn't. We'd be like, just chill out. <laughs> oh dear. But anyway, she's parked a the car there. It's unusual, isn't it? Port police. And the port pay for their service. Warranted constables. So anyway, 
Let's get David up, shall we? So as always, we've checked on drone assist. There are no flight restrictions in this area at all. Let's go and have a nosy then. So this is where we started. We read the signs down there. The train track goes all the way up in that direction. Got some pylons behind us. We won't be going backwards. And this is Avonmouth. Quite a bit of industry here. So we're going to be busy. The train track goes up in that direction. Bit of a conveyor there. Bit of car storage is it. And then Sims Metal. Sims Metal are a big presence here it seems. These large cranes and <laughs> all this metal mounded up. And then we have some vessels over there. So let's get over, get a bit closer to the vessels. What are they? Brand new skeleton trucks. So let's go over, get a little bit closer to the vessels. All sorts of metal in that pile, isn't there? Oh yes. It looks a little bit shinier to the left. But it looks very close to the water as well. I wonder how much has fell in. A vessel blocking the water there. Nobody's allowed to pass. <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. And then we have this one, this one, and, oh, that's it, just them two. Oh, no, we've got two more down there. We'll just use the zoom because we are quite a distance away. The drone looks very small. I don't want to give them any reason at all to stop the flight. I can just say, look, there it is, that black dot up there. So goods being unloaded or loaded, I don't know. Keeps the roads a little bit quieter, doesn't it? Putting stuff on the boat and on the rail. So the lady, the new arrival, she's now making her way in my direction. As shown just there. She's on the phone. Can't stay away, can they? So what sort of cars do we have? Oh, more like vans. And they look like little Fiat's. But what a sight, eh? certainly don't get to see this every day but I don't anyway and using the zoom once again we've got the lock there how the vessels enter the port fantastic isn't it And then it looks like the area where the injunction applies, just down there. And you've got to be uh, really quick and brave to go down there. Oh yeah. Yeah, no problem. I know you've spoken to my colleague, um, right. and he asked for your details. Um, have you got your operator ID on you? You don't have it on drone. your person. Okay, but you do need to provide me your details for the um, under the air traffic management and 
unmanned aircraft act. What? What do you suspect me of? I don't suspect you of anything, but it's just no. to make sure you're complying with the CAA. Okay. Okay. So you're so nearly I there. I can't make you ground it, obviously. You, you're nearly there. Um, the operator ID needs to be on the drone, so not on the person, on the drone. Okay, I didn't so, say where it was. So yeah, so uh, um, by law, I just have to show you that I've got one. So I'll just have to show you the sticker. All right, that's okay. the law. That's the, the traffic management order that you mentioned. To actually take the details down and record that, there needs to be a suspicion of an offence. If you tell me there is one, I'll give it you. Otherwise, I will just show you the sticker that I'm complying. All right, okay. All right. I wouldn't like you to be looking up my details when there's no suspicion of an offence. There's no need. GGS. Hello, my friend. Hello. What's your name? Chris. Chris, nice to meet you, Chris. Thanks for watching. No problem, mate. No problem. Oh, you want to see the bike over there? And I thought, yeah. That's me, my friend. Talk Thank you. Man. Cheers, Chris. Hello, my friend. What's your name? What's your name? Jay. Jay? Yeah, there you go, mate. Um, Thanks for watching, yeah? Thanks, nice yeah. one. You're desperate for the details, aren't you? Why? Can I ask why? I wouldn't say I'm desperate. Well, you're trying hard. Landowner's permission for what? To fly the drone. That does sound ridiculous. Well, it's not. You need landowner's permission. No, you don't. You do? You're wrong again. No. Where and are you getting this information from? The landowner here would be Bristol City Council. Right, Bri who? Bristol... Bristol Port Authority, whatever yeah. you're called. After the train tracks, privately maintained. Yeah. This side, council maintained. Yeah, we that, all contribute. why is there Bristol City Council? Yeah, so um, why am I going to get permission to do something on a council pavement? Because That's you're ridiculous. The train. So what? Flying a kite? You don't need permission. Pretty sure you do. You need to be more than pretty sure when you're acting in the powers of constable, giving members of the public demands. I'm not demanding. You are. Anything. You're demanding my I'm my not details. Okay. I well, haven't demanded it. So you're I've happy. You. You're happy for me to refuse, yeah? If you're going to refuse, that's no. Fine. Are you happy for me to refuse? If you're refusing, then that's fine. See, we're not getting straight answers from yourself, are we? You see the black sticker on the top? Yeah. There's the operator ID. Oh. By law, by law, has to be on display. Only needs to be provided if there's a suspicion of an offence. All right. We're all complying with the law. I'm just trying to make a little video for my YouTube channel, like I told your colleague. Yep. I prefer if you didn't try to obstruct that lawful activity. I didn't try and obstruct you in any way. I didn't ask you to land the drone. I didn't do any of that. I just simply asked you for your details under the Act. Yeah, you've got no power to... You've got no power to require them. Of course you can ask. I can yep. politely decline, and the matter's left there. Um, you don't need council permission to launch a drone. If the council's got active bylaws in place and there's signs telling them to the public that, then it's reasonable for me to spot them and comply with them. The only signs that I can see relate to an injunction in force about the protesters. But I've spoke to your colleague about where I'm allowed to go. He's agreed that this side of the, the track is where I should be doing my lawful activity from. No filming, no going past the barrier, no, certainly no launching the drone from your land. I'm being reasonable, but please, I, I sensed a little bit of unreasonableness no, 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 I, there. I'm not unreasonable at all. I literally, I've asked you for what I wanted. You but don't you, want to do you still it. believe that you can't launch from council pavement or without, without a misunderstanding? Yes, I do, but obviously you believe it can't that. be enforced. So you need landowners' permission. <laughs> unfortunately, you um, do. Unfortunately, you're you wrong. Do. I'm not wrong. Land pri if it's private, if I. If I maintain, if I pay to maintain this highway, because the footway is a highway, yeah. I'm paying to maintain it. Any lawful activity, I can use it for. Flying a drone in accordance with the law is a lawful activity. But you may need to brush up on that. So I did actually speak to the drone sergeant, so... Well, he's wrong I as well. Did. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, have you got your 
Just before you go, I didn't see any epilepsy on, on display. Oh, you just got one there, have you? 752. Yeah. Um, when this jacket is put on, should the epilepsy be on the jacket? Oh, you've not There's got no epilepsy at all? No, they're on there. Wow, so you've only... Are you port police? Or? Yeah. Right, is that a requirement, uniform requirement, just to have it on display at the front? Or... Um, as long as it's on display. No shoulder requirement? Um, no, it's not. Right, that's unusual for me. But thanks for telling me you're recording. So there we go. I don't know what you think of that, but certainly an attempt to obtain details. Um, no need, really. They can only record your operator ID if there's a suspicion of an offence. Of course, they need to see that you're complying with the uh, air navigation order and the drone code. So do show them your sticker, but there's no need for them to write it down. So not that I've got anything to hide, but we're just promoting the rights that members of the public have. One of them is filming from public. One of them is flying from any council maintained road. You don't need to have permission. But if they've told you there's a bylaw in place and they do not want drones flying and it's signposted so that you should know, then of course you should be complying really. Or you've got to deal with the backlash of the council if they want to take action against you, which will be peanuts. Anyway, let's move on. Do you know this area, mate? Did it once be um, do like... Do they, do they own it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I'll give you a key ring. Was it once like a holding area? I think this was, yeah, just for materials wise, yeah. Oh, materials? Yeah, I think so, just to store some materials along here, open the, open the chain, and that's it. Thanks for oh, watching, that's mate. That's the one, yeah, I know, yeah. Who's um, paying for the paint? Uh, port. The port, yeah, yeah. But the, the port land starts after the tracks, doesn't it? Well, I don't know. We've got, so, after this, I've got to paint all the red barriers along the port, so. Have you? I just get to tell what to do, so yeah. Are you a permanent painter then? Yeah, well, we get, yeah, we do the sheds, everything, so yeah, we do a lot of the port work. Oh, honest. painting and decorating yeah, bagnalls. Yeah, bagnalls, yeah. Right, okay. So I thought that was you when I seen the little orange bike when you pulled up. Then you got the drone out. I thought, oh, it's DJ Audit. Yeah, yeah, thanks for watching, my friend. Yeah. You can sell that keyring for a tenner because they're uh, going on eBay for a tenner. Yeah, right. crazy, isn't it? Crazy, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, I don't miss you, but I thought, oh, no, they only see that. Yeah, definitely. I've just been talking to the police about where I should be standing and stuff and where's their lunch. I'm surprised they're paying, but it contributes well, to the appearance, doesn't it? They're in that bit as well. That's the building over yeah, there. Yeah, but, that's... That's the... but this bit, yeah, I don't know. You're it's right. a waste, isn't it? But yeah, it's a waste. Yeah, it really stores the material like this here, or yeah. if they do building works or even anything, they just store stuff here. Nice one, mate. Well, I'll let you carry on All anyway. Right, you take care. I'm going to hunt down some cruise ships. Right. <laughs> take care. Okay. And we're just in time to see a train passing on the crossing. And there it goes, the Great Western Railway. Quite a short one. And then as soon as it clears, the barrier doesn't mess about. Straight up, look. So there we go. Not much of a backlog at all, really. So we'll leave a key ring here. We might. Thanks for watching, mate. What's your first name? Lewis. Nice one, mate, thank you. Yeah, well, uh, before we run out of key rings, <laughs> let's hide one and move on. So, just behind this dead end sign, we will put a key ring just there. Hopefully, it's still there when you come. So, if you are one of the first people to watch the video and you want a key ring, good luck with that. Huh? Got a key ring? I'll leave one down here for you, yeah? So you could get it after. I'm from Leicester. Yeah, I'll just put it there for you, mate, so you can see it. All right. I'm getting out of here before I run out of key rings. <laughs> so if you have enjoyed that video, do give it a thumbs up for me, and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye for now.